While filming a chipmunk burrow, which turned out to be abandoned, I realized I was fortunate to capture a garden slug, leaving its underground home to start its day. This is important because from this film we can calculate the typical speed of a slug in motion. The timer is started when the slug's tail passes the zero inch line and is stopped when the tail passes the finish line, the stick about seven and a half inches later. What is not accounted for in most slug and snail speed contests and research is slug intentions, emotional state, or motivation. In this rare instance, we have candid footage of a wild garden slug leaving its burrow and starting its hectic day to munch on vegetation. So we can be reasonably sure it is leaving home without stress and getting on with business and traveling in a nearly straight line in a normal fashion without some artificially induced sense of urgency or just lollygagging around and eating when a slug's speed is essentially zero. This is a slug en route to a destination, so this is a fair test for normal slug velocity. It took Mr. Slug 2 minutes and 34 seconds to cover 7.5 inches. Simple calculations show the average speed of the slug was 0 .00277 miles per hour, or roughly 0 .0028 miles per hour. To get an idea of slug normal peak speed after it accelerated up to cruising velocity after leaving its burrow, a second calculation was made for the elapsed time between the slug's head crossing the 5 inch mark and the 8 inch mark, or the time to cover 3 inches at full cruising speed. In this case it took Mr. Slug 1 minute and 3 seconds to cover 3 inches. Calculations show that the average speed of the slug during this stretch was 0.0027 miles per hour or just a hair slower than over the full course, indicating the slug's maximum acceleration was likely during the first three inches of its travel once it left the burrow and then it settled into a cruising speed. The Guinness World Record for slug speed is 0 .00626 miles per hour or more than twice the speed of this slug. But I suspect in the record slug race the slug was under duress and had some external forces influencing its high speed. Here we see a slug at natural speed. The circumference of the earth is 24,901 miles, so this slug would take almost 9 million hours, or over a thousand years, to go around the earth. Of course a slug could not cross the ocean, so a more realistic goal would be LA to New York, which is approximately 2,796 miles via interstate highway which would take the slug almost a million hours or 114 years, assuming no headwinds. For those interested in seeing the slug in action in real time, what follows is the actual recording of the slug covering the distance. Enjoy.